Hello everyone. It's a pleasure again to be here today to guide you on a simple yet powerful skill. In this video, we will focus on creating interactive dashboards in Excel with charts and slicers. Dashboards are more than just a collection of charts. They are dynamic tools that transform raw data into actionable insights. And the best part is that you do not need to be an Excel expert to create one. I will walk you through the steps of designing an interactive dashboard using a hypothetical sales performance data set, demonstrating the magic of slicers and explaining how these tools can simplify complex data analysis. Imagine a data set tracking monthly sales across regions and product categories. Here's an example. Here we have sales figures representing the total revenue for each category in a given region. The re we have four regions, North, South, East, and West, across three product categories, electronics, furniture, and clothing, from January to December. For instance, we see that the North region recorded 5,000 Naira in electronic sales, while the South recorded 3,000 Naira in furniture in January. The first step would be to set up the pivot table. The pivot table is the backbone of any dashboard and it organizes and summarizes data. To insert a pivot table, we select the data set that we have or the range of data that we're interested in working with. Click insert tab, pivot table from table or range as it is in this case. And because we want the pivot table in a new worksheet so say click on new worksheet so it takes our data to a new worksheet then we begin to build the pivot table to do this we drag the month data to the column area to display months horizontally we drag the region to the row row area for vertical organization by region and then we take sales to values and we want it to be in sums of values if we want it to be um, computed differently, we click on this arrow and you select value field settings to select whichever um, type of um, settings you want. It could be that you want to compute in terms of averages or you know maximum or minimum values. But in this case, we want the values to be, we want to analyze based on sum of sales. Now we have been able to create a summarized view of the sales data by month and region. We can also up things a little bit by adding the product category under the row. So our table is not only showing us um, data across months by regions, but also by product category within the region. Now let's visualize this data with a bar chart. Select anywhere on the pivot table, go to insert and select chart bar chart. There you go. We have our bar chart. We can make our bar chart more attractive. Click on design and you select whichever um, form that appeals to you. Maybe this one, for example. We can decide to add data labels, I mean, exit labels in this case. I think this is already self explanatory. So here we just see um, in Naira. Okay. So our data is in Naira. We can decide to give it a different title, uh, sales performance by region. For example. Okay. So there you go. This is our bar chart highlighting sales performance by region in line with the table above. Now, to make our pivot table more um, interactive, okay, we're going to add slicers. To do this, to insert slicers, select the pivot table, go to pivot table analyze tab and click insert slicer. We want to interact our table and the charts across month, region and product category, for example. These are our slicers. We can um, arrange them 
in a way that doesn't obstruct any information. So we've been able to um, position our slicers appropriately and formatted them for a clean look. Uh, it's all blue. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let's test our dashboard for its functionality. Suppose that you want to analyze electronic sales in the South region over time. You click on South and Electronics. You can see how the chart dynamically updates to display only electronic sales in the South region across selected uh, months. Okay. Same thing um, if you decide, no, I don't want to see uh, values in the, um, electronics in the South. I want just furniture. It also um, shows, shows that, you know, across um, months. Where you want to analyze more than one category all you need to do is to select your um, control key to be able to pick uh, all the data. Uh, for example, product category that you're interested in. We want to see South and West, for example. Okay, that is data for South and West across the three product categories and across the months. If you want to see all the data again, just hold on the control key and then it brings us to where we started from. Interactive dashboards are invaluable tools for decision making. Instead of combing through raw data, users can filter and visualize insights instantly. Whether tracking sales trends, comparing regional performance, or analyzing product categories, dashboards make complex data simple and actionable. In just a few steps, we've created a dynamic user-friendly dashboard that transforms a static data set into an interactive tool. As you apply this in your own work, remember the key principles, clarity, interactivity, and usability. We need to understand where to place fields in the filters, columns, rows, and values sections of a pivot table. Placing data by sections depends on what you want to analyze and how you want the data to be structured. As a guide, remember that filters allows us to narrow down the data we want to view without changing the subsets of the data. To decide what type of data we want to insert in the filters section, we ask what criteria might I want to quickly filter my analysis by. For the columns uh, area, we display distinct values horizontally at the top of a table, thereby creating separate columns for each category. To decide what type of data to insert in the column section, ask what categories do I want to compare across horizontally. Rows display distinct values vertically along the side of the table, organizing the data into categories. To decide what goes into the rows area, ask what categories do I want to organize the data by in rows? And values are the numerical data points or metrics you want to analyze. For example, sums, averages, or counts. To decide what goes into the values area, ask what numbers or metrics do I need to analyze or summarize? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing the amazing dashboards that you create. Until next time, happy data analyzing.